What's up, guys? We got some wrestling otaku nonsense to talk about. So recently, wrestling otaku put out a video calling himself the Riz Master again and recounting a story of how he quote unquote met a woman. Which leads me to what I'd like to talk about. Because wrestling otaku is a complete fake, fraud, phony, liar, however way you want to put it, about every aspect of his life that he puts online. Starting with his recent video, where he starts off talking about how he is such a riz master and has such charisma and is such a ladies man, when we can see that's obviously not the case, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt and hear his story. So he tells a story about how he met a woman at the bus stop and had a chat with her and didn't get her number, didn't ask her out on a date, didn't do anything successful, and then recounts it to his fans online as if this makes him a ladies man. He also likes to claim that he used to get so much attention from women back in his 20s I guess, but I've seen how he looks in high school. And unless he suddenly got really, really attractive in his 20s and then it immediately went away the day he turned 30, that simply was not the case. But this is what the fraud wrestling otaku likes to do. In the past, he's done the same thing, where he's talked about how he met these women online who were definitely not catfish, and then he shows messages from OkCupid or Plenty of Fish or Facebook of women in other countries being nice to him who are most likely scammers and actually just want to get his money and talks about how he's such a successful ladies man because he's a complete fraud and he doesn't have anything he can actually show so he makes up these stories and hopes people will actually believe that this pathetic guy has charisma. Of course, it doesn't just end with his lies about his love life. He likes to lie about how great his channel is and how famous he is at doing wrestling stuff. When he's generally a giant joke in the wrestling scene, he's not very successful for a wrestling channel, and he's, he's pretty much hated by most normal people. But he thinks if he can just lie and pretend and keep saying that he's the greatest wrestling commentator that ever existed, that people will actually believe it. But the fact is, is most people hate him. Twitter absolutely abhors him, and he gets made fun of there constantly as he tries to, to, to blend in with the other wrestling fans. And he makes these posts talking about the people he's buried, where he talks about huge channels that don't give a fuck about him, that aren't being buried by him, that he's trying to use to get his name out there because he's a complete fucking fraud and a loser and this is his idea of getting popular, getting attention, is to bury channels that don't give a fuck about him. But as always, he assumes if he can just lie and pretend he's doing great, that people will believe it. He's taken the phrase, fake it till you make it, to the absolute extreme as he pretends he's doing so great despite clear evidence that he's doing terribly. He's had his channel for eight years and it's barely going anywhere and it's only had some traction lately because he's decided to just cop out and upload wrestling content from copyrighted shows. But of course, he turns around and claims the success of uploading other people's content as his own and he brags, despite the fact that this fraud has struck so many people on the grounds that it's my copyrighted content, how dare you use it? Because he's a complete fucking phony. He can't even follow his own ideals. And of course, we can't forget his complete hypocrisy when it comes to the trolling because he sits there and says, trolling should be illegal, you all should be arrested for trolling me, but I know for a fact that he's tried to dox other people, he has doxed other people, he continues to harass other people who he has their dox, and he sent many pizzas to people's houses because he thinks he's clever and he can do that, but it's not okay when people do that to him. 
So these are just a few points about why wrestling otaku is a complete fraud, a fake, a phony loser. But if you'd like to know more about him, just watch his channel. Because everything he says and does shows what a complete fucking phony hypocrite he is and how he'll never go anywhere because he cannot step away from his own lies. So wrestling otaku, I suggest that if you ever want to go anywhere on YouTube, in life, with women, anywhere whatsoever, you stop fucking lying, you step back and take an honest reflection of your life and where it's been and where it's going, and do something else. Do something smarter. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.